If you're thinking of upgrading your ChatGPT account to the Pro version for $200 a month just so that you can get your hands-on operator, you need to watch this video because I'm going to show you whether or not it's worth it and some of the things that I've found that you can use it. Now, the first thing that I did was to ask ChatGPT exactly what operator can do for me because I wanted to see some major use cases. So the things that it suggested are online shopping. It can actually just literally go around an online store or add products to a basket and then you would check out. It will make travel arrangements for you within reason. Form completions, so fill out forms with the details that you give it. And then it can gather information from different websites or it can create memes, which is what um, the suggestions were there when I typed in what are the main use cases. But um, in all honesty, when I've been using it, I found some other things that it can do, but I don't feel if I'm going to be a spoiling this video early on, I don't think it's particularly worth paying for at the moment, but let's have a little look. So this is one thing that I'm doing right now this second, and I typed in, can you submit my website uh, to as many free website directories as possible in order to increase my backlink profile? And then I've put, if you need to enter an email address, use this email address. So it's been busy doing that. And then it's got to this sort of section here. It's been going around, it Googled um, free website directories. Then it found some specifically for SaaS websites, so software as a service like FastBots, which is mine. And then uh, it started to actually fill it out, but I think it's kind of gotten stuck here. So at that point, like it says at the bottom, I filled out a submission form uh, on the super tool directory, including details like the tool name, description, and link. Should I proceed with submitting it? So I'll just say yes. And now let's have a look and see if it actually goes ahead and does that. It'd be quite interesting to see. Now, at any point, if you want to take over, you can just click take control and then you effectively jump into this virtual browser here and then you're able to, you know, just use it like a normal computer and move the mouse around. It is a bit slow because you know, you're linking to this virtual machine via the internet. So it's always going to be a little bit slower, but you know, it does work like a normal computer. You just don't get all of the apps on there and everything. And while that's going on, what I'll do is I'll zoom out. I'm not quite sure what it's up to at the moment. It's kind of right clicked on, on my logo there. And then, oh, here you go. I found the FastBots logo on the website, which can be used as a thumbnail image. Would you like me to proceed with downloading it? That's pretty cool, right? But at this point, what I'm finding is, is that it does ask you a lot of things and you have to keep getting involved all the time. And really... By the time you've done that, you know, you may as well have done it yourself and you could have done it in half the time. Now, I think what would be better and what, what it needs and what will no doubt be coming is the ability to kind of give it these instructions right up front. You know, if you need to download a logo, do it. If you need to cross off a pop up, do it. You know, here's all of my details to enter in the form. Don't bother asking me to submit then maybe then it will just crack on and do it. But yeah, I mean, now what's it saying here? So it's grab my logo and it wants to upload it. So I'll just say yes. So now it's saying, do you want to upload it? Even though I already kind of said that. But you can see like it's a real two-way thing. Yes, I mean, this is magic, really. We've got to be honest, you know, look where we've got, look at the point we've got to. We've got a computer using a computer for us. I mean, that's pretty impressive. I suppose that the bar is set high already now and we, we don't get too impressed with things. Um, very easily anymore. But I'm just going to say, yeah, go ahead, submit it. Now it's uploaded my logo and there you go. So I think this could be a bit more autonomous and, and need less of my input in future iterations of operator. I mean, imagine if you did, if you were looking to uh, get more traffic to your website, you could just use operator to do exactly what I'm doing. Look, there's the list that it found of the um, of all of the different places it can go and submit my site to. You could just leave it running in the background 24 hours a day, just submitting and submitting submitting your site to directories all over the web and building backlinks up for you. Now, that, this is a service that, you know, you would have to pay for normally quite a lot to get backlinks to your site, to have somebody, uh, you know, actually from freelancer.com or Upwork, they're, you know, doing it for five, ten dollars per link or more. By the way, if you are into chat GPT and AI, you're going to love my free group. And there's a link underneath this video. You can come along and join the 11,600 other people um, that are all absolutely obsessed with AI and chat GPT. And we talk about it 
all the time and people share great software, great use cases and all kinds of interesting things. It's like the first place you would need to go to find out what's going on in the world of AI. So again, the link is underneath this video. Come and join in. It's completely free and I love to see you there. So if, if operator can do things like that, I see it as being super useful um, for anyone who's got a business. Now, if we have a little look at other things that I have done, I used it just here to uh, find a rental property and it was very very good I put can you find me a property to rent in pool Dorset three bedrooms and a garden and then I put use right move didn't give it a website I just said right move so I didn't give it a full URL for two minutes um, it had a little look it, it went on right move and it actually did go ahead and search the site and then found this property right here and I'm able to kind of ask questions about it and say things like, you know, which property is the cheapest here? And uh, and then it's asked me again, would you like me to request information about it? And then it will go ahead and fill out the form according to the information I gave it in the beginning. So it is quite useful, but I feel at the moment there's so much hand holding that needs doing. And hopefully some of this kind of stuff will be will be ironed out as time goes on. I would imagine that OpenAI is very nervous about just being totally autonomous and not having us confirm every single thing we want to do in case it goes ahead and does something and submits something somewhere we don't want and potentially damages our brand or our business. So I can see why I suppose they are being very, very cautious. But you can save the task at the top right and then you can share this as well. You can create like a video there and you can review it before you publish it make sure there's nothing in it and then you've got like a shareable video of it doing its job which is very very cool and then anytime you want to start a new conversation then you just click on the pencil icon there and it's got some suggestions here for you like dining and events you know with open table i think it's been trained on specific websites uh, to run very smoothly and then if you were to put in a brand new one it would kind of have to use more intelligence to do it because it may never have been to that site before and then you've got like Instacart for shopping, DoorDash I don't think they even operate in the UK so they'll probably be no good to me but I, I would imagine as time goes on more and more local services depending on where you are um, you will get uh, appearing in here so shopping is just there. Etsy and eBay, of course, we've got those. We haven't got Target. Travel, it's got Priceline and Booking.com. So we could say use Booking.com. Here's what you would do. You just literally try use Booking.com to find me a five-star hotel in Brighton, England on March the 25th to the 26th. Now, almost as long as it's taken me to type that out, I could have probably just gone on to booking.com, used the filters and done it. You know, as I say, this I see, you know, in the future, we're maybe just going to say that and it will all happen in the background and just get done. And maybe right at that very last moment before we press submit, we then have to confirm. But there it is. It's going on on the uh, browser. Let me see if I can enlarge it for you. There you go. So once you've enlarged it, you can see down the left hand side here, we can kind of keep talking with it as we go. So first of all, it's it's selected Brighton Hove. Now it's uh, doing the dates. Um, it's put Wednesday 12th of March the 13th. I actually selected 25th. So hopefully it will amend that. Uh, now it's gone to April. So it's it's sort of struggling a little bit there, isn't it? It's gone 21 to 23rd of April now. So again, I'm hoping it will correct itself. It's done the 24th to the 25th of April. Now it's gone back to 20th. I reckon it's struggling with this, but you see what I mean? You wouldn't use this. You would just go and do it yourself. But I think that OpenAI probably wanted to get this out there ASAP, especially, you know, with the uh, the Chinese like DeepSeek model came out just a few days before they released this. And they were probably looking to just quickly get some press, some new uh, features out. And even though it's not really production ready, as you can see, it is uh, kind of interesting to use. And it does show, like I say, where they're going, in my opinion. But yeah, it's basically gone into a kind of circle of doom here. And it doesn't seem to be able to use the booking.com calendar. So I would at this point just kind of cancel this request. Uh, or take control like this and then I can go in and correct the dates which again you know if you're doing that why don't you just do it yourself but here you go look I can just go on and uh and my, with my little human brain and then select the dates like this you know 25th to 26th or 25th and then check out date 26 
and then click search. So it's quite handy you can take over, I suppose, otherwise you wouldn't get what you want. And then now I can click finish up and then resume the operator and then the operator will then uh, go through and, and have a look for us. And I would imagine that it would probably try and filter out the hotels to being just five star, which means, there you go, it has just ticked the box for five star. So it, it was able to do that bit at least. And now I, I would imagine it's going to ask me some more questions about which one do I like the look of or is there anything I'd like in terms of features or, or an area or something. And then just keep filtering it down until such times as we get the hotel that we want. But anyway, that is it. If you want to use operator at the time of doing this video, they don't have it in the UK and I think most of Europe, but it's coming. So I've had to use a VPN to do this, but it's at the top left there. You can see operator, you've got Sora, and then it jumps off out into a totally new window like this. And then um, there you go. And it's just said there, I found several five-star hotels. Would you like more details on any of these options? So it's kind of put the ball back in my court um, to uh, choose which hotel I'd like to stay at. So that's it for this video. That is Operator. Hopefully that gives you an idea now. Do you think that it is worth upgrading to uh, get this at the moment? My personal view is, is not actually at all at the moment. Sorry, just not good enough, not ready interesting for people like me who love AI and stuff, but until such times it can operate more autonomously and reliably, it's a no-go for me. So that's it. If you found this useful, press that like button, subscribe for more AI videos, and there is another one coming any second now.